Hey up everybody, how the devil are we all doing? It's a nasty goose and in this video we're making a modern house. Beautiful. First things first, we need a location, don't we? And for this build we're going to be doing it here, just near Gilman's Lumber Yard. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it is quite forgiving the terrain here, but it is a bugger getting your foundations down. Especially if you want your build to clip into the rot face like I'm going to be doing here. So I've already got one foundation here to start us off, just use this as a reference point or just spend a few hours pissing around until you get it how you want it. When you are finally happy with your foundation placement, we're going to do a simple 2 by 4 rectangle nothing fancy at all and like i said before this terrain is really really forgiving as you put down more foundations you'll find that they do snap into the rock face really easily and that's what we're going for we want this house to look like it's built into the cliff itself right so now we've got our foundations down we can start building our second story dead simple to do we're just going to slap down some stairs at the far end of our build and we're going to copy the layout of the foundations that we've just put in beautiful top tip as well guys i've always found that if you use a really violent pattern of flooring you know like this one here it helps to make your build look even more spectacular mm-hmm yep simply simply lovely speaking about things being more spectacular what do you what reckon about legacy weapons being buff personally i'm having a fantastic time with my explosive gatling plasma <laughs> No, but seriously, let me know what you think down in comments. I know I'm probably opening a can of worms up here, so just keep the hate crime levels down to a minimum, please. But anyway, back to the build. Hopefully by now you should have got your four pieces in. If you haven't, remember what we're doing. We're just copying the way out of the foundations. It's really, really simple. So yeah, let's take a gander at what's next, shall we? Because to be honest with you, I forgot myself. Ah yeah, that's right. We're going to start putting our walls in on our bottom floor. Now, you can use any build material that you want. It really doesn't matter. But I will pre-warn you, we are double wall and everything, so make sure it's a build piece that can actually be done. Up. So when I just said you can use any build piece you want, it was a fucking lie and I apologise for that. But yeah, moving on swiftly. Don't worry about that little gap there, we're going to come back to it. There is a method to put down a wall there. Now this bottom part is going to be quite a simple shape. I don't really know the best way to describe it, so just watch the bloody video. I know that may be quite difficult because my videos do have an habit of knocking people to sleep, but if you are just feeling a little bit, you know, drowsy right about now, wake up! Sorry about that guys, apologies for that outburst. But anyway, as you can see, uh, this rock face is really, really forgiving you can build into it i think i've only mentioned it once or 19 separate times so far but like i said guys we want this house to make it look like it was built into the cliff side and that's the only reason we chose this location to be honest with you i promise it's got nothing to do with the fact that this is where i did my first ever youtube build and i've got sentimental attachments to it nope my unhealthy obsession with this location has nothing to do with it i promise you may be wondering to yourself why the hell are you putting glass walls down so you can look at a bloody rock face well there's two reasons for this one because i'm feeling nostalgic and i want to put down a fish tank here ignore all the holes knocking around fish actually don't need water to live in it's just a myth and the second reason is because i have no other bloody idea of what to do down here so we're just going with the first thing that came into my head <gasps> Suit you, sir. Just going to finish up putting in the last of our walls, and when you're all done, you should be left with something like this. Isn't it beautiful? Nope, it really, really isn't. Right, so the top floor is slightly more complicated. We're going to start by putting up some double walls again. And we're going to have four sets of them, and they're going to be on each side of our first three floor pieces here. Do you get what I'm saying? No, you probably don't, but just take a look. Is it starting to make sense now? It is absolutely fantastic. When you get to this M4 piece here, just snap another floor through the rock so you can double up some walls, and then you should be able to find the corner of it and delete the floor piece beautiful we're then going to make some recessed windows to do this we're going to delete the two outmost floor pieces you can see it here fantastic we're going to grab ourselves a small catwalk and the medium-sized catwalk and we're going to snap them on here like this and then on top of these catwalk pieces we can snap down a glass wall now only put one glass wall down put the roof on top of this first before you put the second glass wall in get it fantastic and there you have it you see a nice recessed glass wall simply simply over complicated now now you've just got to do the same on the other side. There you go. Both sides done beautiful. Now we need to deal with this gap down here that I mentioned before. The first step is attaching some of our magical catwalks to the glass wall we've just put in. We're just going to use three of the small size ones. The second step is realising that we've done something wrong and having to deviate away from what we're actually supposed to be doing. So go ahead and just delete this foundation and delete the floor piece above it. We should then be able to snap a wall the correct way to the catwalk pieces. Slap a floor back in place and voila, as they say in Germany, this is what you should be left with. And now it's just a case of putting walls down on our second floor. 
floor. Again, anything that's not a glass wall, we're going to be doubling up, and that includes half walls as well. So let me show you how to do that in case you've never done it before. It's quite simple. Place down the half wall that you want to double up. We're going to be using these port holy boys here. Next, we're going to burn the shit out of them, and to get to the higher one, just put your flamethrower on top of a stash box, and you should be able to burn it. Beautiful. And lo and behold, would you look at that? Once you've burnt them half walls, you can put down another half wall on top of it. Simply, simply fantastic. And now it's just a case of going round your build and putting down some more walls. And this really isn't too complicated, guys. We're literally just following the floor plan. Obviously, this is a modern house, so I'm going to be using modernish looking materials and wallpapers, but you don't have to do that. You can do any design you want on this. Right, so once you've got your walls in, it's literally a case of putting down a roof. Again, dead, dead simple. You just put in a roof on. I mean, I can't really explain it any better than that, can I? I'm going to be using the responders set all the way around, but in the middle, I am going to put some glass roof pieces in, you know, to let in some sunlight. And once you've finished putting on said roof pieces, you should be left with something like this. Now, it's just a case of going round and wallpapering pieces. I'm going for the white wallpaper with the stone wallpaper because modern house. And of course, if you've got any doorways that need to be solid walls or anything along them lines, now would be a good time to change them to what you actually want them to be. In all honesty, guys, I'm actually liking how this build's coming along. I know I take the piss out of modern houses, but it is a nice change from building utter shit. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is still utter shit, but it's upper class shit. Do you know what I mean? For example, this is the kind of house where somebody who took cocaine lives, whereas the builds that I usually do are the kind of places where, you know, people who use crystal meth would live. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, don't you? And if you don't think that's the most inappropriate yet accurate comparison of two Fallout 76 builds ever made, then what the hell is wrong with you? Anyhow, if you're following the same kind of design that I'm going for, once you've wallpapered, this is what you should be left with. Something along these lines. Now it's time to make an entrance way. Now, due to amazing planning and in no way absolute fluke, this little walkway here lines up really well with a little pathway in the cliff, which will make for a perfect entrance. Can you see it there? Absolutely fantastic. See, you don't have to be good, you just have to be lucky. Anyway, we'll just change a few more walls in here, and this is what your top floor should look like. Well, at least roughly anyway. And there you are, you see, not looking too bad, is it? We're getting somewhere. So now we're going to slap some lipstick on this pig, and I want to put down some plants at the side of this doorway. So I'm going to take this foundation and drag it out, and I'm going to put another doorway at the end of it like this. And this will act as a reference for where to put down our plants. I'm going to use these mini nuke planters because they look absolutely incredible, but obviously we don't want to see the actual plant pot, do we? We want to bury them into this foundation. So we're going to delete the wall off it, we're going to drag our foundation over to this area, and we're going to use the merge glitch. Now I've covered this many, many times in many, many videos, so I'm not going to go through it. I'll try and leave a floaty card in the top corner to a video that shows you how to do it, because it is quite tricky to explain, and I not good English. But in a nutshell, you want to find yourself some terrain, preferably an hill where the foundation can sink into it. Stand on top of the foundation and kind of drag it towards you and drop it. And the items on top of it should sink into the foundation. See, I told you it's hard to explain. It's like trying to piss in gale force wind. But anyway, if you do manage to actually get them things sunk into the foundation, let me show you something really simple here now. Before you put it back in place, just stick a light at the side of it. Preferably one that you actually do like. And now, once we plonk our foundation back in place and we run a bit of power to it, look at that, we've got underwater lights. Really cool little trick to know that. It's really handy if you're doing a swimming pool, for example. Because as we all know, you can't actually build items in water, but if you take the foundation out of the water, put the items on it and then back in the water, it has no problems with that. And as a side note, you can do that with anything as well, not just lights. And now for our final step before actually decorating the interior, we're going to put down some guardrails. Well, we're not going to use guardrails because these ones, which are the only half decent looking ones, don't fit on foundations very well. So we're going to use the hedges instead, and it's literally a case of snapping them to the side at foundation. There's not really much else to it. We're going to place them down at the front here, and we're also going to place them on our little walkway at the back and the little open corner that we've got as well. Now, when you get to the walkway, you may have to take your half walls out, place down the actual hedge itself, burn that with a flamethrower trap, put your walls back in, and then repair the edge. But other than that, it's really, really straightforward, guys. Anyhow, I'll cut away to some footage of it decorated. I'll catch you in a second.
And that's it, guys. What do you reckon? Not a bad looking house, that, is it? And before we disappear, I'd like to show you one of my patrons' camps. This is Lanthar's Duck Pond Camp. Now, this is a pre existing location. The tent is already here, but all them ducks, she's meticulously placed them down herself. Personally, I think it's absolutely quackers. Her masochism levels must be off the fucking charts. But yeah, thank you very much for that, Lanthar. And thank you to all my other patrons as well for supporting the channel. It's much appreciated. And if any of you guys want to get involved, the link is down in the description. You also find a link to my discord down in the description as well if you want to you know just have a chat with other weird and wonderful people and of course guys if you like the video hit that like button let me know i'm doing an half decent job and if you want to see more weekly fallout 76 content hit that subscribe button too anyway as we say in the north i will love you and leave you